Now, with the onset of summer in northern India, Delhi's groundwater crisis has already become severe. While the groundwater levels have been dipping for years, but now providing safe and clean drinking water for 15 million people living in Delhi has become a major challenge for the government. After 70 years of independence, this is the site in front of you when people have to call Delhi Jal Board to fetch some amount of water for every day's use. Because they don't have any kind of services at their home that they can get water in their taps, which is drinkable. And this is the reason that every morning around 3 or 4, they have to queue up to fill the water and to make sure that they have some water to drink for every day for their children. With video journalist Rahul Bhatti, Nagain Singh, we on. India's Niti Aayog has said that uh, 21 cities, including Delhi and other metros, will run out of crown water by 2020. If immediate steps are not taken, let's listen in to what the experts have to say about the impending water crisis in the national capital. One or two months before, when Cape Town, uh, actually in Africa, was facing this water stress and was talked about because of the day zero, um, we did an analysis of uh, which are the urban centers which are going to soon face day zero. And surprisingly um, and very sadly, Bengaluru was one of them. So uh, one, uh, one of the ten cities which we analyzed is which is going to face a day zero very soon. Bengaluru is one such city but Mumbai and Delhi are not far away. They will soon face uh, such situation very soon and not only Mumbai and Delhi, the big urban centers which are coming up in Delhi will face the problem. I think the main crux of the thing is that we are running out of the water, uh, you know, water resource. And um, especially when we look at the urban areas, uh, you know, there will be a massive change in the next, uh, you know, couple of decades. And uh, water, which is very, very essential, if we run out of that, then, you know, we are looking at uh, uh, disastrous results. So I think that's the crux of the whole uh, report as such. Now, the Niti Aayog has hit the panic button for many cities in India. And the city of Frothing Lakes, Bengaluru, finds a mention on that list, now faced with the possibility of its groundwater table drying up as early as the year 2020. Concerned citizens and activists are urging the government to finally act. Several decades of mismanagement and overutilization of natural resources has led to the situation that is today, where Bengaluru, along with 20 other cities, faces the threat of completely running out of groundwater in the next couple of years. The Niti Aayog report has not given any clear solutions, but experts feel that if measures are not initiated and implemented immediately, then Bengaluru and several other cities may face the threat of being evacuated by 2020. In Bengaluru, with video journalist Chandan, Nishchita Virendra, we on. The situation across the state is no different. Karnataka has been witnessing a severe rain deficit around the Kaveri catchment area as well. Year after year, thanks to deforestation, Kaveri is the state's primary source of water. Now, in the year 2017, the catchment area reported a 34% deficit. The only issue with the report uh, is the fact that it doesn't talk about solutions, because solutions are rather fundamental in nature. Uh, if there is water scarcity, it could be because of two reasons. One is a human cause. The other uh, is about climate change. Mm -hmm. Climate also is anthropogenic in the sense that it is also con you know, contributed by humans, mm -hmm. but not necessarily Indians. Mm -hmm. uh, climate change is a global phenomenon. Yes. Yeah, but in India, we've done a lot to uh, drive rains away uh, you know, from localities by uh, rampant deforestation.